Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. This will be part 67 <clears throat> of our Let's Play. In the last episode, we were fighting our way through the streets of Denerim. Uh, and we have finally arrived at Fort Draken. And we are now fighting our way upwards through Fort Draken. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But so far, she's been a bit of a slog. Don't look now. Let's say that's a trap. Disable that one. Ow. Oh wow, these that corpse just died pretty quick. Okay, maybe we want to throw out a stun now. Everybody's stunned. Man, there are a few of them, aren't there? Morrigan? Um You're kinda getting destroyed. You are getting destroyed. Right, get rid of you first. Alright, now we're going to start targeting the shape changer. Ouch! That's the, uh... That's the old chain lightning. Come on, dog. Get him. Okay, they're attacking the Herlock Emissary. Why am I missing so much? What What's wrong with me? He doesn't have any protection. I'm just missing a lot. What are you doing? Oh, trying to use regen. Did not, uh... Yes. Did not save ya. <clears throat> okay. I imagine that trap would have been pretty bad. Uh, but thankfully, traps are my forte. Trap- oop. You have something to say, do you? Um, I want to talk about last night. I see. While I'm here, let me talk then, and you shall listen. I shall be brief. What was done had to be done. I regret it not. I shall be leaving, as I said, and so this entanglement of ours must end. Do you understand? Uh, this entanglement is that all it was to you? I should have known better. I should have maintained my distance, as I knew what was to come. I am... sorry. But this is how it must be. Right. Yes. Uh, just gonna... It's just all corpse gall, which is... crap. It's just a junk item, I think. Okay. Uh, when you probably want to do a cleansing ritual to fix up Morrigan so she doesn't, uh, suffer, and we can probably actually turn that off. What does it do? It, like, heals every now and again. Maybe we leave it on to see what happens. Alright, where are we going? Do we go into a giant room? Huh. Do we go into a little room full of, full of weapon stands that we, you know, ooh, actually it's a bunch of ice arrows. I was going to say it's full of weapons that we'll never use, but... A bunch of ice arrows is not not the end of the world. We can we can use those. Do we actually have any arrow filth? Okay, maybe we'll throw those on for the moment. Because it's giving us ice arrows, which to me says ice arrows are good against Darkspawn. Otherwise it wouldn't be giving them now, like right at the end. Or at least they're good against whatever is to come. So I'll just use the Arrows of Filth, because they're just generic arrows. Well, they do nature damage, but like... You know, more damage is more damage, regardless of what type it is. Unless it heals something, but that's not a thing in Dragon Age. You don't get a weapon that like... You know, if something has resistance to... Fire, they don't get healed by fire. If they have like over 100% resistance. Um, they would just take no damage. Knock knock. Ooh, that's a lot of bodies. Let's not go that way. Let's go back the other way. Let's let's poke back in the big room. Because it looks like that's the end and there's more sort of rooms up here. So what do we got? Big room, full of enemies. Knock knock. Ooh. Big pile of dead dogs. That's always fun. Huh. Okay, well that was a waste. 
Okay. Just, uh, just, just a big pile of dead dogs. Fair enough. Let's go to the big pile of dead dark spawn. That looks like a more fun direction to go in. Uh, there's a barrel over here. Going. Oh, and sandal? Enchantment? You're real blood covered. You're showing my dark spawn, dark spawn corpses. What happened here? Enchantment. Right. Enchantment? Okay. Uh, do you have any of your dad's wares for sale? Oh, you do. Excellent. Oh my god. Actually, you have stuff that your dad doesn't have because I bought them all. Oh no, I don't want that. But these I'll take. Oh, I'll just take them because I can. Again, I've got like a billion dollars. Um, do we just do we just grab all this stuff? Like all these elixirs and stuff. So they have concentrator agent. Distillation agent, which will take like 23 of those. Flasks, but no, like, elf root. Uh, which kind of means that it's pointless, because I can't actually... I can't actually make anything without, without elf root. Bit of a bummer. Okay, but we can give him just like all of this stuff. Uh, fire bolts, we don't have anyone with crossbows, so it doesn't really matter. We have a lot of ice arrows now. Oh, Corruption. Might hang on to that because it's a special named piece. Um, Morrigan's robes. Eh, don't need that. We got any... Yeah, we do. Ruby, Sapphire, Topaz, Amethyst, Greenstone. Okay, we'll sell some of those as well. I mean, we spent a lot of money... But we still have a lot of money. Yeah, see, so I can't even make, like, health poultices because I don't have any elf root at all. Bummer. Oh well. Well, we have 38 filth arrows. Going up to the second floor, so we're not even at the roof yet. So we're going to have to fight through another big horde of people, I suppose. Probably a ton of, like, mini-bosses, like, lieutenants. Before we finally manage to get to the Archdemon. Who crashed on the roof. Alright. Oh, we can't even go that way. Guess we have to go this way. Let's go! Yes. I don't see any traps. So far. Anyone up here? Nope. Okay, health bolters. I was ju just about to comment that they're giving us so much loot and stuff considering this is like the end of the game. But, okay, most of the items we're getting are like consumables and heals and lyrium potions and blah 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 blah. Speaking of which, what level do I have you guys set for lyrium potions? 25%? You're actually not using lyrium potions anymore. I think I just told Win to do it, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, less than 25%, good. Because if it was less than 50%, I'm like, ooh, that's going to be very wasted. What do we got? Herlock Alpha, Genlock Alpha. Alright. There's a few of you. Uh, we're going to do a scatter shot. And then I guess I'll summon a bear while you're all stunned. Nice try. Taste some ice arrows. Actually, bear, are you any good? What do you do? Slam and rage. Okay, we'll just do that. Oh my god, Morrigan just got absolutely blitzed. Bonk. Okay, great bear. Ooh. Great bear is pretty good compared to the old, the old normal bear. She should just get fixed in a second, right? Ah, you know what? Doesn't matter, just use an injury kit. We, we just bought a billion of the things. Probably way more than we're ever going to need. Ah, uh, god, which way do we go? Well, this looks like it's going back down, so it's probably not the correct way to go. 
Also, it's gone into a kitchen and it doesn't lead anywhere. So there's also that. Also probably not the right direction to go in. I thought we might actually finish the game in this episode, but it looks like it might be the next one. Because unless we get to the top really quickly... I think, uh... All right. I think the fight with the Archdemon is probably going to take more than, like, five minutes. At least I hope so, otherwise it's pretty anticlimactic. Uh, nice. Oh. It's actually quite fitting, after all this, that Alistair is wearing uh, Marek's armor. And I'm off. Uh, okay, there's definitely two enemies on the other side of that door, and there's about 50 on the other side of this door, so we'll go to 50. Oh my god, I just walked into a gun line. Dink. We stunned, like, all of them. Oh my god, it really is a gun line, though. Okay, you know what? You guys can just fight amongst yourselves. Yeah, I'll, I'll just let you guys sleep and fight amongst yourselves and whatever. Ow, it's gonna say I'm about to get stunned. I saw that coming. Ooh. Oh, he definitely got Curse of Mortality. I was like, wow, that was like four crits in a row. No, he definitely. Definitely was getting that on purpose. Well, the Genlock gun line did not work super well. Didn't didn't work super well at all, in fact. Oh, it's the prison. Ah, oh, I was here. I remember the old days of the prison. Like five minutes ago. Like like two or three episodes ago. Ah, oh, the prison. It's kind of pointless, actually. We went in there, killed a whole bunch of genlocks, and then that was it. Fellas? Ah, uh, Morrigan, how do you always end up at the front? You probably shouldn't, right? You should probably be behind Alistair. Okay. Okay. Oop. Master Assassin. Ah, oh, he's frozen. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Although, he's really killing Morrigan, like, a lot. Uh, Bear, do you wanna... Rage and then slam? Oops. Give him a quick stun. Give him a quick tickle. I'm gonna move out of the way so the bear can come in. Whoop. There we go. Not gonna... Not gonna make any comments about how Morrigan spends more time uh, on her back than she does on her feet, but... You know. Just, right. just saying. It's, a, it's out there. Get that one too. Uh, have we fixed Morrigan? No. Just use an injury kit. Oh, I did have another lesser one. Blech. Again, doesn't really matter. We're just kind of speed running up to the up to the uh, end. Okay, the fact that it just saved does not fill me with confidence. I think I'm gonna slap some take. Wait, can we? Oh, fire arrows. We'll, we'll take some fire arrows. I got Herlock Emissary, is that it? Just one Emissary? Oh, and a couple of- Ooh, yeah, they're about to throw a rock. I saw that. I ain't sticking around. Alright, we're gonna hit him with a stun. Ooh, Morrigan. That's not good. Okay, we got- We got the Ogre. Okay, Morrigan is on her back again. Oh, don't hit me with a curse of mortality, you dick. Okay, you deserve that. Stop, stop trying to heal me, please. It's nearly done. I'll be okay. I'm good. Asshole. 
Such an annoying, like, single target delete. I mean, in that case, I was kind of lucky because I wasn't being attacked by anything, but if I'd been attacked by, well, literally anything, I, I would have died there. That's why it's such an annoying spell and not very... It's kind of not terribly useful for you to use it. Because um, there's pretty few enemies in the game that actually heal. You know, obviously there was a couple of, like, annoying mages that would, like, super heal themselves, but... As an example, it, it wouldn't have saved us from, like, low gain, right? Because he doesn't heal himself, he just doesn't take any damage. Um, most of the Darkspawn, like, alphas and generals and stuff, once again, they don't really heal themselves, they just don't die. There's, there's a difference, right? It's kind of only you as the player that needs to heal often. Here we are. That's a big boy. That's a big dragon. No, kill the other dragon. That guy's not even firing arrows. Pretty sure I saw him at least once there just draw back on the string and fire. I feel like they super ignore the whole the Archdemon is invincible thing for most of this, and they're like... Why don't they just get big ballistas? If, if the Archdemon wasn't invincible, I don't feel like it would be that hard. Okay, we can bring boys in. So let's bring in Redcliffe straight away. Oop! Don't get hit by that! Ow, I got hit by that. Oh, it didn't do anything? Oh no, it hurt me pretty bad, actually. I'm just gonna bring, bring a dog out. Oh, there is literally a Ballista up there. Is there one on this side? Hello? Ballista? Oh my god, there is. Can I just... Don't, don't mind me. Stay in your homes. Dink. I think I missed him. Okay, I don't think I missed him that time. Whoop, he's moving. He's over here. I have another Ballista. Just stay right. Nope, 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 nope. You just stay right there, Archdemon. Right there. Thank you, sir. Ooh. 112 damage. This feels like a very, uh... A, a very uh, undignified and ignoble way to defeat this uh, Archdemon. <laughs> and so... The Grey Wardens did stand at the back while all the generic goons, like, rapidly died. And just shoot him with a ballista. And so he did die. <laughs> because ballistas really hurt, yo. The great hero of Ferelden. <laughs> Whoop. Wow, that's really bad over there, hey. Who's this? Oh, first Jenna Irving, nice. I see Arl Eamon. We got anyone else that's exciting? Doesn't seem to be. Wow, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna leave those Herlocks to be killed. Uh, they're not doing much. Who's this back here? Oh, Cardol! The, um... Uh, what do you call it, guy? The Legion of the Dead dude. We, like, convinced him that the Blight was a big threat. Because he was sitting there going, No, it's not. We were like, well... Stuns for everybody. Okay, so if we just target the Shrieks and stuff, and maybe, like, the Alphas... ...then the Goombas can deal with the rest. Oop, we're out of fancy arrows, so let's go into our Ice Arrows, maybe. We do have just a, a pile of those things. Okay, the, um... The Redcliffe guys are actually matching off pretty... Pretty well against the generic Goombas. I mean, they have, like, Arl Eamon to help and First Enchanter Irving and stuff, but... They're, they're not dying as rapidly as they were before. Like, there's still 48 of them. They've lost two men. Alright, where's where's our big boy? Where's the chunky man? Oh, he's over there. Uh, I guess if we want to shoot him with a blister, we have to go over that way? There's a ballista up there, right? Yeah, there is. Cool. Cool. 
Can I shoot him from here? No. Oop, that's a lot of boys. Ow. Don't stand in that. Come on. Goombas, follow me. Ow. Please don't stand in the giant spinning vortex of death. Giant spinning vortexes of death are never good. Is he doing it again? No. I'm just going to run past you all, if that's fine with you. Ow, stop that. Ow. Ow, someone help me with this shriek. Oh, he's doing a thing. I'm going to turn this around. Hi, Archdemon. Is he actually going to turn that way? I don't know. Yep. And here we go again. I feel like these things should be limited. You should just have to shoot them, or be able to shoot them like three times, and then they they stop. Oh, okay, so now I'm being like attacked by... by ads as well as, as the boss. I mean... It's really stupid that this works. Blight Queller. I really feel like I'm quelling the Blight right now. Oh, he's up there now. Have we got another... Oh. Cardol. Can I just, like, disengage? I guess not. Stop. Don't. Don't you do it. Oh, who's fighting him? Demon? Or is it just that one generic Red Cliff soldier that's like, I can have him. I've, I've got him right where I want him. <laughs> Come on, shoot. Yep, I'm actually hitting him. Okay, I don't think I'm hitting him. Oh no, we're going to have to fight him fairly this time. Alright, well, we're going to hit you with a scatter shot because that means we're going to hit all your goons. There we go. Okay, I, I think we're good. Um, we haven't even lost half of our Redcliffe soldiers. Oh. Oh no, Alistair's taking the last hit. I, I feel like it's about to run a cutscene. But, uh, pretty badass watching that. Well, because he's probably not dead, right? He's just, like, weakened. He's, he's probably still twitching, you know. Oh, no argument. I guess it's because I know I can't die. Or at least I think I can't die. Ooh, yep. Yep. Give him a really... Give him a really, really messy tracheotomy slash shaving job. I was going to say, Morrigan should be fine with this, though, right? Oh, that looks so cool. Are all the... Yeah, I was going to say, are all the Dark Smoke just going to be like, Nope! We're crawling back in our hole. Nice. And we're not dead? Question mark? And then it was over. Guess we'll find out. With the Archdemon dead, the Darkspawn Horde quickly crumbled. Most fled back into the deep roads. They would remain a threat in the years to come. But the blight had been ended before it had truly begun. Oh, and now he's wearing, like, Kalen's actual armor. That's cool. Ferelden had been saved, and the entire kingdom rose up to joyously greet its new king and queen. Nice. Grey Warden stood redeemed. And a new age had begun. But at what cost? I mean, it wasn't that much of a cost, was it? 
Like, in the grand scheme of things, I think that was pretty... pretty chill. We save the werewolves and the elves. We save the mages from just being, My friends, like, super killed. To celebrate those responsible for our victory. The dwarves did stuff. Of those who stood against the Darkspawn siege of Denerim, there is one in particular who deserves commendation. I guess I survived. The one who led the final charge against the Archdemon remains with us still. Ah, so they definitely had, like, lines to be, like, died in the final battle. May I present to you the hero of Ferelden, the first Grey Warden to defeat the Blight since Gadahel four centuries ago. Nice. Wow, one in 400 years. That's pretty badass on our account, I guess. I think it only appropriate that I return is there oh. any boon that you might request of Ferelden's king? <laughs> God, he's really... I will grant it. Where are we taking this? Uh... Ooh. I mean, do I care about... I said the house pay for what they did to my family. I mean, they kind of already have, and also... A lot's happened since then. Like, I'm a Grey Warden now. I don't know. The sacrifices of the warden should not be forgotten again. Now that's a very good point. I think we can begin with a monument here in Denerim, dedicated to the Grey Wardens who have fallen. Duncan. Riordan. All of them. And the other ones, <laughs> that we don't care about. To learn more about the Darkspawn. We'll face them again. With the dwarves as well as here. That's right. Let it also be known that the Arling of Amaranthine, once the land of Arl Howe, is now granted to the Grey Wardens. Cool. There they can rebuild, following the example of those who went My, my, uh, home. What are your plans? Will you remain with the Grey Wardens? Uh... I intend to find Morrigan. My impression was that she didn't want to be found. But I understand completely. I don't care what she wants. Uh, there's a group of Ferelden citizens <laughs> waiting outside to get a look at their hero. I suggest you make at least a brief appearance before they storm the gate. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell the guard at the door when you're ready. Sure. So I guess talk to everyone, I suppose. That's a good shot, though. Be like Alistair in the foreground, and then all your all your heroes in the background. Yeah, no, we're gonna search for we're gonna search for Morrigan. Allow me to offer you my personal congratulations. I must admit that while I did not share my father's pessimism regarding the Grey Wardens, I had my doubts that such a small number of you could be victorious. Yet here you are. The game was wrong. Very true. And now he is dead. Yep. Tell me something. Is Alistair always like that? He's a good man. But will he be a good king? I fear my initial suspicions are proving correct. He already avoids anything resembling a decision. Oh, oh well. His heart is in the right place. In that, he reminds me of Cayman, which is no feigning. Now I see Al Eamon gesturing to me. There is more work to be done. I must take my leave of you, I fear. Enjoy the rest of the celebration, Warden. I shall speak to you again before the day is done. Cool. Alistair? So, King? We made it. I'm impressed, aren't you? The odds were completely against one of us actually getting to the Archdemon. But of course you would make it. <laughs> I kind of feel bad for Alistair, actually. Because, like... I guess Riordan was wrong. Because, um, like, Alistair was there longer than me, but then I get picked up, shit all goes wrong, and then he puts me in charge, and then I'm the one that saves everyone. It feels bad. Uh, Morrigan saved me. I had no idea. I suppose that makes sense. Speaking of Morrigan, do you know where she went? I'm told she vanished right after the battle. No goodbyes or anything. Uh, I don't know where she went, but I'll find her. Good riddance, I say. Uh, at any rate, I can yeah, see you Arleman would. giving me that look. More king style. <laughs> and gesturing at Anora and then looking at Alistair. <laughs> if I don't get the chance some other time, thanks. For everything. Um... This is hardly goodbye. You're leaving, aren't you? And I'm not. I 
guess we'll see how things play out. But this certainly feels like an ending. At least for now. I'll let you get to your adoring public. They want to see the hero of Ferelden, and who am I to keep them waiting? All right. Uh, guess we talk to Eamon. Eamon? It is over. I can barely believe it. You stopped the civil war and then defeated the blight. Sure did. On behalf of Ferelden, allow me to say thank you. It truly cannot be said enough. Uh, I'm a Grey Warden. That's what we do. <laughs> so I'm learning. It's too bad that you aren't remaining here in the capital. The hero of Ferelden would have influence, but I understand. Myself, I will be remaining here to help Alistair. Tegan will take over the rule of Redcliffe, at least for the time being. Connor seems well enough, but Isolde refuses to speak of what happened. She says she never wants to go back. I cannot thank you enough for saving me. Yeah, that's fair. We managed to save them as well. So we actually did great. It wasn't that much sacrifice. I noticed anything strange. Consider what he's been through. Ah, you are no doubt correct. It is my imagination, I am sure. But here I am, rambling on. I shall let you get back to your celebration, Warden. Enjoy it while you can. All right. Uh, Shale? How incredible that it survived. <laughs> uh. It has exceeded my expectations. <laughs> I'm not as squishy as you think. Apparently not. Thankfully, it appears to be <laughs> I don't know what's happened to Shale, to but, kind. uh... Otherwise, I might be forced to revise my... <laughs> sure, opinion. she'll be fine. But I will go now. I am thinking I will return to Orzammar. Perhaps I will fight the dark spawn in the deep roads. Clear them out for good. They remind me of pigeons. Uh, do you need some help? No. Where I go, it is better if I go alone. Light may be over, but the dark spawn will just go underground once again. Perhaps I can do something to aid the dwarves. Yeah. It's a worthy quest. Something worth existing for. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Good. Perhaps I will see it again one day. I hope so. For a flesh creature, it has been excellent company. Alright. Well, I don't know what happened to you, but... Guys, I think we might... Uh, we're going to leave this episode here. Ah, fuck. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. Liliana, what do you got to say? Here we are. The conquering hero has won the day, and now he takes his bow and exits the stage. A fine ending. Uh, but does the hero get his girl? I don't know. I haven't read that part yet, have I? You'll have to tell me. The hero always gets the girl. Oh. Is that how it is? <laughs> you know, I can't help now but think of my vision. The Maker sent me to help you, and look what you did. It's a miracle. It truly really is. <laughs> I've been asked by the Chantry to return to the Urn of Sacred Ashes. I need to make sure it's protected. Maybe pilgrims can even begin going there again. That'd be good. Do you need help? Oh no, you have your own things to keep you busy, I'm sure. It will be a grand adventure of my very own. I'm looking forward to it. At any rate, you should get back to the celebration. We can speak another time. Okay. Uh, oh god, we have so many people to talk to. Is everyone? I will be relieved when all this pomp and ceremony is done. Oh please, he probably Such loves it. Such events are perfect opportunities for assassins after all. I can't help but expect the crows to appear at any moment. Which would be a welcome break, mind you. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, you think the crows will still come after you? Eventually. With Talisin dead, it may take them time to figure out what has happened. But they are like the tides. Predictable. You know, it does occur to me that staying in one place is only going to invite the crows to find me that much quicker. While fun, that might eventually get complicated. You said earlier that you are planning on leaving soon. Is that true? Why? You want to come along? You tend to get up to interesting things. You meet interesting people and then you kill them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm game to tag along if you want. Yeah, that's fair. I'd be happy for the company. And I promise not to get you into too much trouble. Uh, well, no more than you get me into, anyhow. <laughs> well then, since we're going to be leaving together, uh, we can speak after you have been sufficiently paraded in front of the populace. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on you and make sure no one gets a clear shot. 
Not without paying me a great deal of coin, anyhow. <laughs> uh, when? The hero of Ferelden. My, my. How does it feel? Uh, it's a little strange. Of that I have no doubt. It's a title you'll be wearing for a long time to come, just as Loghain wore his. But it's not so bad, is it? A blight defeated with the other nations barely becoming aware. Who could ask that? Yeah, that's a fair point. Like, blights are an entire world event, but no one else really did anything. I didn't do it on my own. I don't own. think many heroes ever do. I'm glad not to be on the receiving end of all this attention myself. I say, let the young have their fame. Not that I've gone without notice. Irving asked me to take over as the first enchanter, but I don't wish to go back. Not after all this. Instead, I've decided to accept a position here at court. There's not ah, oh, that makes sense. The throne for a very long time. Alistair asked you to stay. He's a good lad, and his heart is in the right place. He wants to see the lot of mages improved, and I am willing to help him. I understand you will be leaving. I wish you good fortune on your journeys. Wherever they may take you. If we do not see each other again, live well, Warden. And thank you. Okay. Ah, uh, look, I don't really want to talk to Ogren. Stan. They call you Hero. I have not heard it used before, but I think I understand the intent. The Arishak, on occasion, has declared a Kunari to be Kunoran Vel. Who serves as an example to others. Yeah, it's basically the same. Always made after their same idea. Mm. A service to the Cunans. Right. Would be too proud. Uh, nothing wrong with a little pride. I would argue, had you not ended a blight, for such an accomplishment there may be allowances. <laughs> what the human custom has in common with our own is that the declaration of a Kunoran Vale is a cause for much celebration. It is one of few occasions when the Kunari are permitted to engage in revelry. <laughs> there is imbibing of spirits, public chanting, meditations abandoned. It is <laughs> madness. Uh, that would be quite a sight. It is interesting. It can take days for the Ben Hasrath to restore order. There may even be executions. I suppose Great. I should tell you, I have decided to return to my people. Your quest is done, and thus so is my reason for accompanying you. Uh, and I was just trying to get used to you. And I to you, strangely enough. It must be said, you gave me the chance to redeem my honor, and now it is done. I owe you a debt. Uh, you helped me as well. It's been good. It has. That one of the Baz, a foreigner, will become known as Kadan to me. Unthinkable. Here it is. Perhaps I shall see you again one day. Until then, may you always find the path you seek. Farewell, Kadan. All right. Yeah, I don't really want to talk to Ogren. We we didn't really have much to do with him. The crowds outside are getting restless. Uh, not just yet. Let me know when you wish to go. I'll wait here. I just wanna throw in a save first in case it crashes. Are you ready, my lord? The crowds outside are getting. Uh, yes, I'm ready. Let's go. In the months that followed their wedding, Alistair and Nora fell into the routine of ruling Ferelden. Nora was a skilled governor, adept at matters of court, and more than willing to spend her time judging matters of law from the throne. And Alistair was quite happy to let her do so. He travelled frequently, making personal appearances that delighted commoners to no end. News that the urn of sacred ashes had been found in Ferelden did not spread outside the Chantry until Brother Genitivi made an announcement several months after the defeat of the Darkspawn. The manuscript detailing his research and his experience with Andraste's cult drew huge interest among scholars throughout Thedas. Some years later, the Chantry announced that the resting place of Andraste's ashes had indeed been found. A ripple of excitement spread among the pious people of Thedas, with many undertaking pilgrimages to see the ashes or partake of their healing powers. Following months of effort, the Tower of the Circle of Magi was finally cleansed of the last spirits to slip through the veil. No further abominations were created, and First Enchanter Irving was pleased to declare the Circle safe. All that, sorry, all it could be saved had been. With the slavers shut down in the alienage, the lot of the city-born elves improved for a time. The new king even named the local elder to his personal court. A scandal amongst the humans, but a sign of new hope to the elves. Shiani continued to be an outspoken member of the alienage community, and in time became the new elder. That outspokenness earned her frequent trouble, but served her people well. 
Al Eamon remained in Denerim for some time, acting as the Chancellor and Chief Advisor to King Alistair. Tegan ruled over Redcliffe in his stead, and was surprised to find himself well loved by the villagers, who were still grateful for the nights he spent defending their lives. In time, Eamon abdicated in favour of his brother, an event the locals greeted with approval and enthusiasm. The young woman named Caitlin eventually made it to Denerim safely, and used the small fortune she received for her father's sword to open a foundry while the city rebuilt. Foundry did well, turning her into a wealthy and respected woman. By chance, she met Tegan again at court, and within months the two of them were married. Ah, oh, cool. Bella the tavern wench made it to Denerim safely. With the money she was given, she opened a brewery of her own. The Dalish elves prospered after the siege of Denerim, having earned much respect for their part in the battle. For once, human lands welcomed the wandering folk. The new keeper Lanea was respected both amongst the Dalish as well as in the Ferelden court. She was a voice of reason, and other Dalish clans would turn to her turn to her to help resolve disputes with human folk. In time, many of the Dalish clans moved to the new land provided for them in the south near Ostagar. Wary of their human neighbours, however, tensions soon rose again, and only Keeper Lanaya's leadership kept peace alive. In Orzammar, King Harrimont found himself in a protracted battle against Balin's rebellion that left him unable to gain the stability he needed. The clan lords objected to many of his measures in the assembly, and only his efforts to increase the dwarves' isolation from the surface met with any success. In time, Harrimont's health began to fail. Some claimed it was poison, while others said it was a flagging spirit. Either way, after a protracted illness, the king finally passed away. The wrangling in the assembly for successor began almost immediately. Brother Burkle's new chantry in Orzammar drew a surprising number of converts among the dwarves. They quickly attracted a great deal of anger from some more conservative quarters, and before long the assembly severely restricted the Andrastians' rights. Brother Burkle resisted and was slain while being arrested during a peaceful demonstration in the commons. The assembly claimed this was an accident, but news of the resulting riots reached the Chantry on the surface, where the Divine even contemplated a new exalted march. Well that's not great. The Dwarven Mage Dagna ultimately completed her studies at the rebuilt Circle Tower. Eventually, she published a comprehensive theory of how lyrium vapours relate to the supply of magic. It gained a great deal of attention. Although the Anvil of the Void was destroyed, rumours about its location crept into Orzammar. Years later, thanks to the defeat of the Darkspawn on the surface, a few determined smiths managed to locate the Anvil's remains. They examined the ruins of the Anvil, and upon returning to Orzammar with their findings, convinced the Shaper to attempt to recreate Caradin's research. A new golem was created, bound with a spirit taken from the Fade. The golem immediately went insane, naturally, uh, killing several shapers before it was destroyed. The research was branded excessively dangerous and sealed away. Whispers of its existence circulated throughout Orzammar, however, and demand among the smithcast to reopen Caradin's research refused to abate. As good as her word, Morrigan disappeared once the Archdemon was slain. Someone of Morrigan's description was seen travelling alone months later, heading west through the Frostback Mountains, and she may even have been with child. The ring that Morrigan gave Royalan remained in his possession. She had once claimed that it formed a connection between the two, and there came a night when he was sure that she was thinking of him, somewhere. She felt regret and sorrow, but the ring told no more. There was no word of her after that. With Flemeth dead, or at least gone, the chances of tracking her down were slim indeed. One cannot help but wonder, however, what became, what became of the child? What were Morrigan's plans? These questions must remain a mystery. For now. Both Royland and the companions who helped defeat the Blight eventually scattered to the Four Winds, drawn either by personal duty or the call to further adventure. Circumstance dictated that they would not see each other again, at least for a time. As the Blighted Lands began to heal and the Grey Wardens slowly rebuilt the Order and Amaranthine, they discovered that the fight against the Darkspawn was not yet complete. Although the Horde was routed and had dissolved upon the Archdemon's death, many of the more powerful Darkspawn survived to organise roving warbands that preyed both upon the land and upon each other. These warbands spread havoc, and some even journeyed west into Orlais, or crossed the Shining Sea by the Deep Roads. They proved incredibly difficult to wipe out. But these are tales yet to be told. This tale ended when Royland sank his blade into the Archdemon's head and destroyed it forever. It was not the last that Ferelden would hear of him, however. And that's it. Boom. So, uh, it is worth noting that, if I check in other campaigns, so Dragon Age Awakening is uh, the DLC. It's like the main expansion. It happens after the events of, of that. 
Um, we also have a Witch Hunt, which follows Roiland's uh, journey to find Morrigan. So that also kind of happens, but sort of like a sub um, adventure. Uh, the Darkspawn Chronicles flips the tables, and we take control of the Darkspawn, and it's like, what if... I think it's like, what if Alistair and um, your main character both died at Ostagar, and like, you know, all the other companions sort of like got together and tried to stop the stop the Darkspawn. So you play as like a Darkspawn general or something. It's quite fun. It's very interesting. Uh, Leliana Song we probably won't play, so it's a bit of a, se a bit of a prequel to Dragon Age and sort of follows how Leliana got to where she was. Very cool though. Golems of Amgarak, I've actually never played this, so I don't have much of an idea of what that one's about. So I'm trying to decide whether we will play Dragon Age Awakening or whether we just go straight back, straight to um, Dragon Age 2. I, I don't know. I leave it up to you guys. If you want to see me play uh, Dragon Age Awakening, let me know in the comments down below. Or, or otherwise, I'll just go to Dragon Age 2. But guys, that's been Dragon Age Origins. It's an incredible, like, classic RPG. It's got all those things that games like, what is it, Planeswalker Torment that people talk about. Um, uh, what are the other, like, good good classics in that regard? Like, Baldur's Gate. Um, what's the other one? There's one more, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but things like that. And it is just really good. It's got a unique sort of flavor and bit of, like, darkness tinged into it where, like, nobody's good. There's no such thing as, as good and bad. It's just shades of gray. Everything's brutal. You know, people get stabbed, people get killed all the time. That sort of wasn't in RPGs prior to this. It was kind of like, you were always good. You were fighting evil. And you sided with all the good people. And all the bad people were were on the side of bad. You know, it's very, very straightforward. But anyway, guys... We're going to leave this episode and this series here. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And check out the other videos on there. If you think of any friends of mine who enjoy my content, make sure you share a video too with them. Really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Goodbye.